our part of Europe is like the junction of tectonic plates and tectonic movements. Therefore, any war here has a lot to do with everybody else around us. It's not a local war. Rather, it becomes the trigger of uh, global geopolitical changes. Uh, instead of fighting soldiers, Russia started to bring death and starvation and hypothermia to civilians. And we all have to stop this barbarian behavior, this barbaric approach. Like Nazi Germany in 1942-43, when they started losing, they started total war. They used all sorts of different uh, weapons, uh, including the most cruel methods. And today, Russia also realized that they are losing this war. This is why they are also start starting uh, new methods, so to say. Hypothermia, attacks, of, attacks on energy infrastructure, sanitation infrastructure, just to bring all those uh, atrocities to even higher level. Today, Russia is, is creating lots of destruction all over the place in Ukraine because they believe that through such, a, such an attack, they will force Ukraine to surrender. These days, we commemorate the tragedy of Holodomor. History and the history of Ukraine in particular of the last 100 or 200 years shows that if there is national, nationwide hunger, famine, it's usually the matter of special action. It's not a natural phenomenon. It is a result of totalitarian management of supply chain. And today, the blockade of exports from Ukraine to Africa and to Asia is exactly the same behavior of Russia. Starve the world in order to take it over. This is the sick logic of Russia. Let me also mention that during those terrible, catastrophic, tragic times of Holodomor when four to eight million people, Ukrainians, were uh, killed, died in Ukraine, also at least 100,000 Poles living in Soviet Union, in the Ukrainian part of Soviet Union back then in the 30s, also uh, fall victim to those starvation and famine. We have also prepared solidarity lanes in the last couple of months because Ukraine needs not only military support, not only financial support, but also all sorts of support to, um, to, to export their goods, in particular grains and crops. And we have to, we have to stand firm supporting Ukraine in those very um, generous efforts because Ukraine is suffering. And at the same time, President Zelensky prepared this very noble initiative to help Africa, to help Middle East. So we cannot return to business as usual with Russia because returning back to business as usual with Russia means returning to war as usual with Russia. Those recent massive attacks on civilian targets prove that Russia has moved from imperial war to imperial terror. If we allow Putin to continue, he will become the Stalin of the 21st century. And all our countries know all too well what Stalin means. We want to support exports of grains from Ukraine, and this is why Poland declares also 20 million euro to support this initiative of President Zelensky. Ladies and gentlemen, we will never surrender in our efforts to support heroic fights of our Ukrainian friends and partners 
brothers and sisters, and all those fights against this barbarian and brutal regime have to be successful. And I strongly believe in the victory of Ukraine. As Kathleen said, let 2023 be the year of victory and the year of reconstruction of Ukraine.